because of the uh, materials that we're going to be using, we need to introduce some uh, protection. We've got gloves, we've got a respirator, and we're also going to use some safety goggles. Uh, this is important because this is uh, dangerous stuff when it's raw. Now the ratios for this product are one part powder to 0.7 parts uh, water. And so they gave a 250 gram package of the powder, which I will measure now just to verify that it is 250 grams. You'll see, if you can see on uh, the scale, it says 258, and we're just going to accept that that's uh, 8 grams of bag weight. So we'll assume that 250 grams is close enough. <coughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to mix the powder, measure the powder, rather, into a container, and then we're going to measure the water into a separate container. Mix it and then I'm going to uh, coat the fiber uh, first the front half and then the back half. They did provide a paintbrush to do this with and uh, it's a relatively cheap paintbrush but this is a, a one-time sort of deal. You're just going to do it once and get it done with. Now one thing I wish I had remembered before the uh, start of this is that I really wanted to uh, spray mist the wall with a little bit of water and uh, the reason for this is because uh, it helps the rigidizer adhere uh, the wet to wet for some reason helps better this isn't like uh, making chicken cutlets anyway at this point I'm measuring the first hundred grams uh, the reason why I'm doing this in two batches of a hundred grams each is so I can control how much I'm actually using at a time and also because I want to leave some behind because there will be some wool going into the burner ports to uh, close up the sides of the burners and I'd like to have some uh, rigidizer left for uh, for that wool as well when I get to that point. Um, that will probably be a couple of weeks away because uh, there's plenty of work to do. So here I am uh, slowly working my way up. <coughs> I believe I'm uh, somewhere around 97 or 98 grams here and 101 when I stop. I really don't think that's a big deal. That uh, extra uh, gram. So, <clears throat> um, now, and here we go. I've got uh, literally right off the bat. I I wound up with just about 141 grams of water luckily right out of the faucet. I have no idea how I manage that. I won't manage that twice but I poured uh, half of it in <coughs> for the first batch and you'll see when I do the second batch um, I literally have exactly exactly the right amount of water for the mix which is uh, lucky just pure luck. Um, anyway so I'm going to move the uh, the scale out of the way and it hooked up to a battery because the power adapter for it died. Luckily I had a 6 volt battery pack and some AA batteries. Occasionally you'll see me take out my phone and take some uh, photographs. Uh, this is uh, for some of the forums that I'm posting to um, just to have photographs to go along with the story and now I'm gonna mix the two. The instructions specifically say to mix for 15 minutes and I don't think you guys wanna actually watch me stir for 15 minutes and to be honest I think I only stirred for about 10 <coughs> but um, I'm f fast forwarding at 8x speed through most of this so this will go relatively quick. Almost forgot to put on my gloves uh, I already have my respirator on at this point, which is why this video is being narrated uh, secondhand. 
and uh, the the audio was absolutely horrible with my uh, respirator on. Just not something that uh, not something that, that you would want to hear. Trust me on that. Um, as you could see behind my uh, elbow there, that's my little railroad track that I'm using as an anvil. Um, and then a couple of ices mounted to some boards. I was about halfway through mixing lots of lumps. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, you just, you really want to scrape down the sides when you're mixing this. Get it off the bottom. Make sure y you mix it all really, really well. You don't want to have pockets. Now, this is about the consistency that I went for. It's like a, a loose pudding or a, a medium to heavy gravy. Uh, thickness. You can see it, it stays separate as it comes back together in the center. And uh, that's about the consistency that I wanted. So now literally just apply liberally. <clears throat> and you want to make sure that you, you get a good coating of this. You don't want it so thick that it doesn't dry, but you want to put it on evenly enough that, that you get a good coating on the whole thing. Now I found that uh, this ratio and, and you know, 200 grams was all I needed. Uh, your mileage may vary. Um, and, you know, I live in Florida, and this was a relatively dry day for me when I was doing this. The humidity was only 55%, and uh, I understand that that's not low humidity in most places. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's mild for us. Um, I went and got a smaller old paintbrush, narrower paintbrush, because I decided, you know what, I should probably do these ports also. Now this is uh, this is what it looks like so far, and um, my video editing skills are lackluster, to say the least. Uh, <laughs> I was never a, uh, a videographer or or photographer, and I can see from this video I definitely need to improve my lighting and. I, I think I have ideas on doing that for the next video, but for now let's just stick to uh, to what I'm actually doing, which is uh, just getting right into that uh, burner port and getting the inside edge of that wool down at the bottom. Now <clears throat> that uh, residue that's actually sitting on the outside there. I wound up letting that dry, and that literally wipes off with a uh, damp cloth. There's nothing difficult about it uh, wiping off. I just grabbed an old rag, uh, got it damp, and wiped everything where I made a mess. And I, it looks great to today, um, so it's not a problem at all. The biggest problem I am having, because of our high humidity, is that it is now uh, three days later when I'm narrating this video and it's still damp on the bottom of the uh, the forge. I figure another couple of days, probably by this weekend, I'll be able to put the next layer of uh, uh, Green Patch 421 is what I'm using. So here I am, I'm shaking the one drop of water that was in that container and I'm going to measure out another you know, 100 grams of the powder. There it is, 100 grams, and now water, exactly the right amount. I literally could not have done that twice. So again, scrape down the sides. Um, but I'm putting in uh, a refractory coating on the inside of uh, Green Patch 421, which I was able to find locally for uh, not a lot of uh, money, to be honest. So, picked it up. Now, at this point, uh, when I went to go clean up the uh, stirring stick, the paint stick there, I found that I did have some powder on the uh, bottom of the stick, probably because it was already damp from the previous mix that I had done. <clears throat> so I went and scraped that off with the edge of the paintbrush. And uh, then I stirred some more. I mean, it's, this is literally the whole process is stir and paint and uh, you just let it go um, that that green patch 421 
uh, refractory, believe it or not, and here we are back at the same consistency, can also be used as a uh, <coughs> rigidizer to encapsulate uh, fiber the, the the wool, excuse me, the ceramic wool that we have here. Uh, you just need to thin it out with some water. There's been some debate the last uh, few days on uh, one of the forums over what exactly is uh, the process for the green patch and it looks like uh, it's most likely some sort of uh, water glass solution because it is a uh, ready to use product so we're expecting that it doesn't cure it just needs to dry and the closest we can find from the directions is to heat that at 100 degree intervals for an hour until it's fully dried and then fire it. <coughs> so uh, I guess I'll just be putting the whole thing in my oven, setting it to the lowest setting, which is I, I, somewhere between 160 and 175. I haven't gotten that low in a while. And then I'll just, you know, let it go for an hour at that temperature, bring it up to 200, let it sit there for an hour. And, and I'm sure that this process is just to drive out any moisture. Um, <coughs> and uh, prevent any serious problems when you actually fire it because you don't want any moisture in a, a product that gets fired when you go to um, fire it because uh, water expands several thousand times when it becomes steam and when you're hitting it with uh, a ton of heat and slowly uh, encapsulating it in the firing process it, it can be a bit deadly can be dangerous uh, pieces start to crack and I've seen bits of ceramic explode in fire pits that just weren't dry enough so <coughs> again just something to be cautious about and there is the it's it's done so again my video editing skills aren't fantastic so here I am <laughs> trying to get that uh, last bit just put in there and then that's it. <coughs> so I think I'm going to have uh, a few more of these videos just for this specific uh, forge, this Lithuanian made devil forge, um, until I have it fully up and running. I do have, I don't know if you can see it there in the back right hand corner, I have the same exact forge. It's uh, actually my cousin's. And yeah, there it is. And, um, that one just has the wool not rigidized, not encapsulated, nothing, and, and a couple of fire bricks in the bottom. It works fantastic. But I am going to uh, thin out some green patch and I am going to um, encapsulate that and then put some refractory in there uh, for him. Uh, he was kind enough to loan me the, the forge. I figured the least I could do is help him out and uh, get that get that right so it's safe to use. I, I don't I don't know why he never did that to be honest. But there it is. That's what it looks like uh wet. There are some pictures on the iForge Iron uh forum about this uh whole build that have some dry s some more dry pictures. If you like what you see, uh please just uh go ahead and like and subscribe. Like I said I have uh more of these videos coming out and hopefully the audio will be better in the future videos and, and the lighting as well. Um, I'm slowly learning. So. <laughs>